morning. Today is the 31st of December and it's time for the next of a series of very very vlogs. I always forget how many of these we've done. It's somewhere in the kind of high teens or low twenties that you will have seen already the number of these we've done in the video title of course. My lady wife and I have been visiting my father-in-law for the last couple of days and we're just back on our way down to uh, Hampshire. Just on the M6 at the moment it's not the most uh, kind of exciting backdrop but then again you know I never promised it ever was in very vague vlogs that's just the way that it goes on this channel. The mountain is in the way because that's just the way that things are and uh, this is the last video that I'm recording in 2021 because it's the final day. It's been an extraordinary week for the channel. Every video that's been released since Boxing Day has exceeded uh, the expectations I would have had for it. One thing that I am very aware of, and I don't know how many of you realise this, perhaps some of you of channels don't really realise this, is that videos that are released just prior to just prior to Christmas often don't do very well on YouTube. It's because a lot of people are um, very busy and run up to Christmas trying to get presents done and trying to work out plans and trying to, you know, finalise their jobs before having, you know, a, a well-deserved break. And so the statistics that, that, I, that I've seen uh, on not just mine but other channels haven't really been as, as uh, great as uh, perhaps they could have been. But since then, even videos about you know a local local gathering I went to um, down at the Museum of Army Flying or Army Flying Museum as it's now called in Middle Waller has been really successful. It was a horrid day actually, uh, the day that I recorded that. But a lot of you seem to really like it, and you know I'm very pleased to say, uh, particularly because this is going first to the second tier and above channel members first and most of you will see this actually well into 2022, is that there's another very uh, wonderful sort of shambolic shuffle coming up tomorrow. Traditionally the Test Valley Motor Enthusiasts, which is a, a local classic car club that uh, we've been part of for the last couple of years, has a New Year's Day run every year. Now that's been scaled down considerably because a lot of the members in the club are, you know, pensioners now, and um, they're just a bit sort of concerned about the um, Omicron variant, or however you say it. I don't know why it's Omicron, but my mother did Greek and she calls it Omicron, so I don't know really why people have said that, but there we go. Um, they have shelled it down a bit, but they're still having a gathering, and we're still going to go tomorrow morning and I'll be filming it. I've got the push of the club chairman to do that, particularly because uh, he was going to come to the thing in Middle Wallop, which is how I, I heard about it first, um, through the Test Valley Motor Enthusiasts, but he didn't make it in the end. And I mean, I'm not surprised during how terrible the weather was. So we're we'll having, having a sort of shambolic shuffle to start the new year, like an extra, extra video over and above what I would normally put out in the week. The Astra and the Sierra that I filmed at Great British Car Journey have exceeded um, expectations actually. The Sierra in particular, one of the reasons just kind of hit this particular um, nostalgic um, seam somewhere and uh, it seems to have done really well. I'm very pleased about that and I hope other videos do continue to do well because uh, you know it's not been anywhere near the month um, on the channel but it, it might have been in comparison with November, even if you take out the NEC um, from that for some reason or the metric down and I suspect it is just because of people preparing for Christmas. Um, you know we've had a lot of really quite nice cars on the on the channel and three jacket reviews which was, well, which has gone out. And again, like a lot of three jacket reviews this year it's it's underperformed quite considerably, although I was expecting it so it doesn't really doesn't really upset me or anything, particularly it's just one of the reasons we don't make very many of them because, you know, if I get 
uh, I don't know, under a third of a number of views on that in comparison with a, a video that I filmed, I don't know, like the Sierra or something like that. Um, then obviously that tells me that you want to see more episodes of Sensible Second Hand Classics and you don't seem to want to see the Three Jacket review so much. Now obviously, you, creatively, that makes me feel a little bit, a little bit sad because the feedback of reviews is something we put a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of money into to create, I think, a superior result um, to just things I do on my phone and editing myself and it's a bit rubbish. Um, but clearly that's what you want to see and so we will, we will go in that direction. And also it saves me personally a lot of money. So, you know, there we go. Just you know, it would be nice to actually make more three jacket reviews and not lose loads of money every single time we do it. But in the moment, while we can't be in that position, we will just limit the number we make. As simple as that. There is another one coming up that is that has been filmed for the 5,000 subscriber special, and, and uh, I've sent it off for editing. Um, we're not anywhere near getting to 5,000 subscribers at the moment. Uh, we've probably got just under a month before we hit that at the current rate. That could go up or down, it just really depends. But when we do hit that mark eventually, it will be, it will come out and I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's one of the most unusual cars I think I've ever actually filmed, so I do hope that, that is okay. Obviously if you are watching this in 2021, um, that means you're a second tier channel member or above and I'm very thankful to everyone who's decided that they are going to support now we've been a soft launch of channel membership so which will be mentioned for definite in the um, channel updates for January 2022 which the majority of you will have already seen but uh, just for the benefit of the second tier up channel members um, it's wonderful to have this level of support and you know I had somebody the other day give me a super chat donation equating to around the cost of a month's uh, second tier channel membership which uh, was sort of wonderful that you know I'm always very encouraged by people who I've never met in real life all they are to me are a name on the comment section of the video who have decided they want to join the channel and support what's going on always amazes me that people just want to watch the videos that uh, that I make, even the video I'm making now, it's it's just a camera pointed forward in a car travelling down a motorway and you're talking in a completely sort of unrehearsed manner about, you know, things that just come to my head and that's all it is. And so I'm very grateful to many of you who actually think that that is worthy of uh, investment of your time. I'm very, very grateful to that and it, it sort of blows me away the opportunities that I have to film things and to do things that otherwise would never have been able to do. Um, I filmed some amazing cars this year. I've been to some amazing shows and I, 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 um, I'm just waiting for the day when actually I can go to a show and say that the costs have been covered and you know the channel memberships are a way to help towards that you know we almost made it with the NEC um, classic car show this year we got actually reasonably close to it even before the channel memberships were there and I know that some of you as well actually have been giving uh, via uh, PayPal um, just before memberships were even a sort of the idea that I had and have been doing so for some time and you know I, I'm, I'm not you know, in, in, any, in any way less than the contribution that we make. You know, the contribution is actually, when I look at the income of the channel, as a fairly substantial thing. And these people have been given, giving for some time. Uh, one of the regular, regular donors actually, actually doesn't even live in this country, which is amazing. Um, and so I'm so grateful to everyone, even if you don't fully want to give. That's not a problem, it's not a problem at all. I, I, I don't. Um, have a feeling that I want to ever restrict any video just to people who who give money. I, I'm very much along the lines of a lot of other lots of other channels who you would have um, watched yourselves that there is no 
permanent paywall behind content. I mean, you know, the channel does give a perk of early access to um, to, to members and also certain sort of people within a small circle of friends that I have, a lot of the music community do sometimes get those early, and people who have been donating for some time, and I think that's absolutely fine, but uh, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to give anything, just by watching the, vi the uh, videos all the way through, uh, watching adverts all the way through in particular, commenting, liking, and being a subscriber to the channel, all of which of course are free. Uh, is a huge, huge help, and you know, supplies the majority of finances for the channel at the moment that don't come out of our own pocket. Um, although, with the channel memberships and the individual donors that I have, it does very much help. Anyway, Happy New Year to all of you, um, whether this is coming um, in 2021 or 2022. Those of you who haven't subscribed to the channel, um, something that you are doing that would be very helpful uh, as, a, as I said before liking commenting uh, sharing the videos and if you want to become a channel member then there's a join button just underneath the video next to the subscribe button which enables you to do that um, from 1.99 a month thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching